see system alert. One six four dot one. Technician access. Hold that until you get to this. Don't want to proceed. Diagnostic. Indoor EEV is open. It's in the open position and the superheat is greater than 30 degrees. Cooling operation. Possible causes, EVV motor not separate seated properly. Restricted, li Restricted liquid line. Possible stuck valve. So if you look at my system status, Got two alerts. EEV open. So what I'm gonna do? The cool thing I like about so you want to press and hold the two top and bottom button ten seconds. Now you got monitor menu. Check this out. So you can see, EEV is all the way open. So that's true. Cool temp 49, which pretty much corresponds with what I have on my gauges. Gas temp 103, way off. So that's going to be your issue. Superheat 53 degrees. Nope. I've got 3 degrees. Airflow. So yeah, that's going to be a faulty gas sensor. All right, got my probes on there. So I've got my probes, psychrometers, and suction liquid line probes on, and as you can see. Suction line temperature is definitely not corresponding with what um, was said, what the uh, gas sensor is saying on the actual TAM9 unit. So, at this point, it's looking like the gas sensor is bad. One thing I like about these is it's these Hyperion air handlers, is the um, positive pressure. positive pressure heat pump. Meaning that um essentially instead of it pulling air over the coils it's forcing it, pushing it up through the coils. It's pretty cool. See if we can find this gas sensor. It's gonna be here on the section line. Here we go. Oh, it just simply fell off. I don't know how it got 100 degrees though. I'm going to place it just in case. It's reading 100 degrees. It should have never been reading that high. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, 
not gonna lie, I've been coming across a couple anomalies with these XV TAM9 systems, but uh, good thing this one wasn't too crazy, good thing they still got cooling at least, but just a quick one for today. Now let me know if you've seen anything similar in the field. Uh, I'm just gonna, anytime I come across a fault, I'm probably gonna record, do a video on it. But yeah, let me know what you think. And like uh, always, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.